All right, well, the engine is out. And yes, I did not videotape it, but uh, too bad. <laughs> we were under a big time time crunch and uh, I didn't have a whole lot of time to mess with it. Uh, we have a gorgeous day today. Um, it's uh, in the middle 70s, uh, but it's supposed to start raining here in about three or four hours. I know it doesn't look like it now. There's not a cloud in the sky and it's gorgeous, but we're supposed to have rain. And uh, I rented this thing, which it's actually a cherry picker on uh it, it attaches to your car so you can you can tow it along and i tell you it worked out great I'll put, i took some pictures while i was doing it but uh it uh, lifted straight over the the back of the boat able to lower it down i built a i took a piece of um or an old pallet and built some stuff up on it got that thing bolted down so it's happy where it is right now very happy all right so let's go over uh what all the stuff i found inside by the way, there's the gas tank. I thought I'd run all the gas out of it, but I actually had 5, 10, and then 2.5 left in that. So 12 and a half gallons still left in that gas tank when I pulled it out. So uh, anyway, I was going to make a video on how to pull this engine, but like I said, things just, I needed to get it out quickly, and we did. So it's done. It took us about two and a half hours from start to stop. So, okay. So I've got, there's the, where the gas tank was. Um, and you can see more of the stringers that are completely rotten. I mean, they're, if you step on them here, they're just, they're just nasty. There's completely, the only thing that's holding this together is glass. Now, okay, so this brings us to the, uh, the transom. Yes, it's rotten. Um, or at least the bottom quarter is. I stuck my screwdriver in there between the, uh, Y pipe and the, the, in there and stuck it down there. And it's, uh, it's pretty mushy, but if you go up about a quarter of an inch, it turns hard. So what I'm probably going to try to do is I'm going to try to quarter this transom and try to, instead of trying to do the whole thing. What I also notice is it does not go all the way down the bottom of the boat. It's kind of interesting. It actually stops, unlike my um, Glastron that goes all the way down and it's actually tabbed into the, to the deck. So um, that's kind of interesting. I didn't even think that would, that was, that would hold, but... I guess it does. So I'm going to try to, if I can, once I get this gimbal out and everything like that, I'm going to try to give a, uh, you know, a, 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 just quarter it and then just go straight down. But that depends on how bad all the rest of this stuff is. If you act the, uh, the stringer back here to the tap test, nice and solid stringer over here, not so much. So obviously we got to take all this stuff out. I was kind of hoping I could keep the, the motor mounts. They're nice and, oh, nope, listen to that. That's rotten too. Sounds good here. See, when you when I was uh, buying the boat, I tapped here. It sounded okay. That doesn't sound too good now that I think about it, but, but I didn't tap the backside because I couldn't get to it. Shit. Means I got to do the, the motor mounts too. So anyway, it's out. Um, I've got some penetrating oil squirted on the uh, all the uh, bolts for the gimbal housing. And I've got to go find the specialty uh, uh, little socket there to get those off so I can pull the Y-pipe out and then get the gimbal bearing out. So hopefully it doesn't rain too much tonight and I can get out here and do all that tomorrow. Um, I'm bushed. I'm selling one of my jet ski tra or my double jet ski trailer and I had to go meet the guy uh, up at my storage unit because obviously it's not here anymore and uh, sell it to him. So. That's what I'm doing the rest of the day, this gorgeous Saturday afternoon, and then I'll return the big Gigantor deal. If anybody's in Dallas, this is the place to rent these, this is Fox Rentals over in Grapevine. 25 bucks a day. Can't beat that. And because they're closed on Sunday, I get two days for free. So I gotta figure out some way to, other stuff to use. But, um, gosh, I think that's it. Pretty short update. Once I get all this junk out and get it all clean and vacuumed, we can start pulling stringers out. I'm gonna pull, hopefully get all this junk out tomorrow too. So that's the update.